In addition, we talked to many people on the streets of Omaha. Some were very interested. Some didn't particularly care whether the Russians fired the first satellite or not. One of the people we talked to was Mrs. Dave Hamer, whom we found in her home this afternoon. Mrs. Hamer, you mind if I talk with you for a minute or two? I'm sure that you have heard on television about the Russian satellite that the, was launched last Friday evening. Uh, you heard about it? Oh, yes, I have. And uh, what do you think about this? What does this mean to you, the fact that they have launched the first satellite? Well, scientifically, of course, it means very little to me uh, as understanding it, but um, it gives you quite a bit to think about. What do you mean, quite a bit to think about? The fact that the satellite is going overhead every hour and a half, does that make you wonder what else they can do? Well, of course, uh, that uh, does enter into is it. Is it off hit us? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, that was, who was that? <laughs> that was Dennis. <laughs> well, I wonder if children hearing this on television and hearing people talking about this are wondering whether the Russians will send something over here that could hit us, as he put it. Well, uh, I suppose in time uh, it could very well happen uh, because it does give us a lot to think about. Do you think the United States has lost any prestige by being second, so to speak, on this? No, I don't think so. I don't think we can always be first, and this is our big scientific year for the whole world, and uh, it's up there, and it means that we can find out answers to a lot of our questions that much sooner. Do you have any feeling of fear, knowing that the Russians are that far advanced in sending missiles out across space? No, I have no fear of it at all. Um, I, uh, I am curious as to uh, what it's going to prove, what is out there. Everybody wants to know what is in, out, in outer space, and of course nobody knows yet. 